And here we are, PCH. <clears throat> Tasty noodle house here. Trader Joe's and all that here. Twenty four hour fitness, all this stuff here. PCH Torrance, right to the north that way. That's here. This is where you look and see the snow capped mountains those other videos I have up, you'll see the snow-capped mountains pretty big and clear from Pacific Coast Highway in Torrance. Palm trees galore. Palm trees are not native to California. They're not really, not originally. There was, there was no palm trees in California. They're all, they're all brought here for, you know, cosmetic reasons for the, the look. You know, they look nice. They don't occupy much room in the sky, so you could have trees that don't take up all the view of the sky and so forth, which is nice. Pine trees are really the main tree of California, even up and down the coast. That's why Northern California still has a lot of pine trees everywhere. But um, pine trees are really the trees that were along every coast in California. You still get a good amount of them, but not like there used to be. That's all there was. Kind of like if you went up north, there's tons of them all along the coast, you know. Look over here, this mountain you'll see is different shape and size. I don't know. Foot up. There we go. Slow down here. And straight ahead, you can see as we head west. back there is where I filmed the snow-capped mountains. And over here you can see the mountains zoom in a little bit. Different shape than I've seen on previous. There's not really mountains, hills over here. Right there. You get a shot from it right here. Oh man. Hard to see there. Zamperini Field here, if you've seen the movie. That's about, he's a local Torrance guy that got taken uh, prisoner of war, made it out. They dedicated the, uh, right here, the little airport here, Torrance Airport. In there. See the mountains from here. Yeah. 
and right here, that's the mountains I was talking about, just little mountains, but different shape and so forth. It goes really steep on the right side and drops down and a little higher up, a little different look. Those buildings are in the way here, so there it is, yeah. Yeah, Mercedes AMG, place to get your Mercedes GT. That's about the coolest Mercedes they have. Their little race car, class act old race car, all engine basically. Nice car. Not to be mistaken for the previous uh, GT, which was the SLS, and then after that came the SLS GT, which had the, if you got the regular sedan version, not the, not the uh, convertible version, has uh, obviously not with a convertible, you can't do it, had the um, gold, gold wing doors, you know, so they open upward, you know, that fancy kind of thing, and so the hinges were right here, like in my car here on the top above you the center of your roof there, your ceiling, is where the hinges were for the right and left door. So in other words, if the car rolled and it was upside down, you'd be locked in. How did they defeat that? The hinges were packed with uh, nitroglycerin explosives. So when it rolled over and you're stuck, it, poof, they automatically go off and blow the doors off. They had a few lawsuits, I guess. If, if you go to work on it up there, stickers would be up there under the, you know, headliner. You know, certified caution danger, certified Mercedes Benz technicians only, you know, could cause death. Da, da, da. <laughs> so you get some guy that goes to get his doors fixed, and Mercedes quotes him, you know, 2300 bucks, 2900 bucks for basic nothing. His, you know, the mechanic down the street, I, I can do that for, uh, you give me uh, $250. And they, <laughs> the guy pays the 250 because he doesn't want to spend thousands, right? Well, a few of those. Mechanics, Jose Gonzalez out in L.A. got his hand blown off, you know. <laughs> Danger, you know, Mercedes te certified technician only could cause death or, you know, serious injury. <laughs> A few people learned the hard way. They couldn't read English, you know. <laughs> Ended up blowing their hand off, so they're not making those anymore. But that's true, nitroglycerin packed. That was a way to make it safe on the streets, you know. You have to be able to crash dummy tests and all that. You have to be able to pass all that to, uh, you know, have your car be legal on the road. And that was one of the things. So how did they get around that? Equipped it with nitrous, nitroglycerin. <laughs> and that's how they did it, yeah. So... Wow, Torrance Hills look bigger here on, than some of the earth. I don't know if that's just me thinking that, but they're pretty damn big looking on PCH getting towards South High here. It's pretty damn hilly, like decent size hills. One of the earths I saw on Newton Street was way up on the top. You're way up high right near the top of one of these hills. I, think, I thought this can't be Newton. I, I, sure enough, I looked at every cross street. Yeah, that was Newton. Here we have the bridge here, the South High Bridge, going under it. Here we are, I guess here they don't have a Vanguard store over here. Maybe it went out of business in general. Maybe they had one here, Vanguard. 
at skate shops, skate apparel, and skateboards, and clothing for, you know, kids that are into skateboarding and all that. And just get, you know, Jeffrey, his stuff there, and so forth. Let's go in there. Rod JC a skateboard there. He, he was on his Amazon wish list, a chocolate skateboard. Had no way to get it to him, so I didn't. Kathy was going to take it and sell it or get rid of it or give it to someone, so I had to give it to someone. I said, I'll buy him a new one. I'll get, buy him one when I see him, you know. So I thought I was going to get custody of him. I was going to court. Ended up not being able to get custody because, you know, some Karen Del Mu, D A L M A U, was I was up against the mom, and she died of cancer, and I was up against Karen Del Mu. And she gave custody of me to my son, Jeffrey. And I was up against him in court, and the courts decided for him as guardian. I don't know how that happened. He didn't give me any of the info they wanted, but, you know. And... Dark street, that's one thing good about it, makes it peaceful. Just passing through your world. See that hill there is pretty big from here.
foggy streets, so you can't really see anything. The trees are now new here. Turn the light on here. Gotta get a little windows there, but yeah, it'll, it makes it a bit brighter. I don't know how it does it so much. The light doesn't go that far. <laughs> This is Montana, which on this side is Anza, on the south side of Newton, north side of Newton, excuse me, is Anza. Down here, and then take it off the video. And you got the I don't know what, call, what you call this park. I can't say I've ever been there. I've charged my phone there once or twice, Walteria Park. Now, I don't think I'm going to have time to do my laundry shit. Right. Then we got Starbucks. And the Pacific Coast Plaza here on the Pacific Coast Highway. El Grosso Tacos, and then you got Best Buy across the street, PCH Dental and all that, snazzy stuff, and the hair, uh, what's it called, the uh, ritual, there it is over here, the ritual hair and beauty bar, <laughs> kind of glare from the flashlight, there we go, turn that off. Back to the Mercedes, AMG Mercedes dealership here. 